Problem number seven. Consider a situation where you play a casino game. You bet five dollars on a pass line and then the uh, chances of you winning is uh, 244 divided by 495. Uh, and then the chances that you lose would be the complement of that, which is just one minus that. That's uh, 251 over 495. What are your random variables? So in this case, you really have a win or loss random variable, and the amount of money that you win or lose would be your random variable. So uh, if you lose, you're out five dollars. If you win, you're up five dollars. So really, these are the only two random variables that you have. So five and negative five. Put dollar signs there if you want. But uh, now we're asked to find uh, the probability distribution table for our scenario. So for this, it might be good to take a look at um, <coughs> uh, throwing in an extra column here. You really, your probability distribution table has an x for your random variable and has a p of x for your probabilities. Um, but Sometimes it's good to take a look at the event that's involved here and the event that you win or the event that you lose are our two possibilities. So in the event that you win, you get $5. And in the event that you lose, you get negative $5. So your first column for your probability distribution table would be a random variable column. Now, what's the probability that you actually win? They gave this to us already. That's uh, 244 out of 495. And the probability that you lose is uh, 251 over 495. So this is our probability distribution table. It's probably good to go as is. Uh, but like I said, really just need to focus on these numbers over here uh, or this part of the table because this is what gives us the probability distribution. This is just informational for us. Now how to find the expected value and the standard deviation. And remember the expected value is the same thing as the mean. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but standard deviation is standard deviation. Uh, one way to find the expect expected value is to uh, add on another piece of the table here and find x times uh, p of x. And then add them up. And the sum here, after you add them up, will be the expected value. Finding the, sta the standard deviation is a different story. It's going to require a lot more work. So what we can do is instead of doing it that way, we can actually just punch this in our calculator and uh, have the calculator get it for us. So let's go to our stats list and let's clear out the list uh, L1 and L2 so we can work with that. So let's take a look at the probability of winning is 5, the probability of losing is negative 5. Remember the minus sign is down here. And then the probability of winning, or I'm sorry, the first column was the random variables. The second column would be the probabilities. So 244 out of 495 would be the probability of a winning, a win of $5. And um, 251 divided by 495 is your probability of losing, or your random variable at negative $5. So first we got to set up a table and then from the table this is really um, a frequency, a relative frequency table. Uh, these, these probability distributions really make up relative frequency tables and so when we work this out let's just go to stat, calc and do a one var stats on L1 comma L2. We're incorporating the second column Oops, let's make sure that's L2. And when we press enter, there's a couple of things that are important here. We get um, 
we get our mean, which is our expected value. And notice the sample standard deviation is not there. What that means is that, well, this is the, this is considered as the population standard deviation, and since this is a probability distribution, they're going with the fact that this is really a model of a particular scenario, and you're you're not getting this information from data. You're using that model to find your mean and standard deviation. So mean is going to be a negative seven in terms of dollars. It looks like you're losing about seven cents per game that you play. And then uh, your standard deviation is five. That's 4.999. So it looks like it's a, it's a pretty big standard deviation considering. So the expected value, sometimes known as E, it's really just the mean. It's important to keep that negative there. 0.07 or 7 cents. And then your standard deviation, we'll go ahead and call that sigma, is uh, 4.999. So we'll just round that out to 5.0. Which means uh, for playing this game, there's a lot of variation and so there's a lot of uh, good chances of you winning or also losing. Um, so uh, that's a five dollar standard deviation, five dollar spread here. Alright, so this is uh, problem number seven.